bring your liberally unto Jerusalem. Liberality. Liberality unto Jerusalem. What's the word? Liberality is just being your gift. Yeah. He said, I'll send, just send the letters and I'll send them. So Paul will transfer and he's like, look, my hands going to be clean. There ain't no reason y'all thinking of none of that. What you got to see? And so it's crazy to use that scripture to support that assertion because he's saying, take the money up so y'all have to get together on the first day of the week when I come through. Right. So if you're not supposed to get together on the Sabbath is what they're saying now, well, why y'all in church? That's it. Right. That's it. Do you actually That's read? <laughs> see, it, it, it'll, it'll beat them down with the way they're trying to use it because they're not using it for the righteousness of God. They're trying to justify going to church on Sunday and making it the Sabbath day. However it is, even if it ain't no money, but to justify Sunday being the Sabbath day, no matter how what scripture you twist, it has to say, and thou has become a Sabbath. This is what Christ said. He said, you have heard it was written of old times that if a man do this, but I say unto you, if you don't do it this way, it's going to be some problems when I show up the second time. Now, you can trust what you believe, or you can believe these rights in red. Do it, what you say, sir? But they can do it if you don't know. And that's what it comes down to. Every man has to know the school. You have to sharpen your school. You have to sharpen your. You got to know where your weak points are at. I can't let them get me over here. It's weak on this side. I got to keep turning this way. Might be almost like when you get your first girlfriend and she mad. And she want to kick between your legs. Y'all be like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, man. But you ain't going to let her be exposed to the weak area. <laughs> 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 Everywhere. But let's get back. I got to put it in that some, some more, uh, you know, men collecting money and then just putting it in their own pockets. Right. And what the brother Paul and was saying. Right. Uh, Acts chapter 20. Verses uh, 31 right. to 35. And uh, also 1 Corinthians 9. So I'm going to what he was doing and how he was preaching the gospel. What you read about him? So I Acts chapter 20, verse 31 to 35. Mm -hmm. Touching, touching the tithing in you know, the situation. Acts chapter 20, verse 31. <clears throat> I'm looking, everybody there? Acts chapter 20, verse 31. Therefore, I'm squad number 28. It says, Take heed therefore unto yourselves mm -hmm. and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers to feed the church of God. To do what? To feed the church of God. Okay. Which he has purchased with his own blood. What did he purchase it with? His own blood. Okay. For I know this. That after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you. Who? What kind of wolves? Grievous wolves. I said 59 call them greedy dogs that can never get enough. Mm -hmm. Little jets, mansions, mm -hmm. the whole nine. And you struck trying to get there. And that old Chevy burning off. Mm -hmm. Three hood caps missing. Mm -hmm. Trying to get there. And he said collecting from you. Go ahead. Second Thessalonians 3 and 10. Man, don't worry, you don't eat. You don't eat. Let's go eat. 29. For I know this that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not spurring the flock. Not doing what? Not spurring the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Therefore, watch. And remember that by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone, night and day, with tears. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which, he, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all of them which are sanctified. Right. Verse 33. I have coveted no man's silver. What did you mean? I have coveted no man's silver, or gold, or apparel. Yea, ye yourselves know that these hands have ministered unto my necessities, and to them that were with me. I showed you all things, how that so laboring 
ye ought to support the weak. What you got to do? Laboring, ye ought to support the weak. Okay. And to remember the words of the Lord Jesus. How he said, it is more blessed to give <laughs> than to receive. <laughs> so what about that? But there's a difference between salary and the word support that you only see Paul or any of the disciples use. They use support. Support means a means of help out. What is child support? You can't get it unless somebody works it, right? That's right. So that's how you get support. But a salary saying, I'm going to give you this much to teach the word of God. Ain't that a salary? Um, Go ahead, bro. But yeah, actually he's quoting the law. He's saying the two so the two reasons for a tithe was to support the priest to take care of the poor Israel. Right. I work by my own hands. Don't pay me. Don't to take, take care of the poor. Absolutely. And, and the, the Messiah, when he sent the disciples out, he told them that, that your work that you're doing, the people don't take care of you for that time. Right. right. Support them. I got another witness, y'all. It's 1 Corinthians 9. Verse 16 through 18. This is Paul again. He says, For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. Right. For if I do this thing willingly, I have a reward. Yeah. But if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel was committed unto me. What is my reward then? So Paul was asking, look, if I'm forced to do this, so that also means the flip side is you try to force it on somebody and they don't want it. It's the same thing. It's got to be free will, willingly believing that this will change my life forever. You got to believe that. You can't be forced to believe that. If you force to believe that, it don't mean that it's a burden to you. This word is not a burden. There's nothing in this word that make you have to do it. You get free will. The Most High gave the angels free will. Lucifer had free will till he gathered a thousand other angels and said, we ain't worshiping no clay man named Adam. We too great for that. We covered the holy seat on high. They faith. Adam faith. So we have to understand it clearly. Yeah, go ahead now. What is my reward then? What is the reward? Verily, that when I preach the gospel, I may make the gospel of Christ without charge. Without what? Without charge. Is it any plainer than that? That I abuse not my power in the gospel. And if I get that, we say amen if you got it. <laughs> amen. I mean, this is clear. <laughs> you know. The church has to run, there's light, gas, and whatever, but a salary for two scriptures. Just <laughs> call it what it is. If it's light bill and, and, and gas bill money, call it debt. Let's hand it up. Let's hand it up. Put the bill on the table and then we take care of the people. Why are we paying them as if, you know, if you don't pay, if you don't pay pastor, the lights ain't gonna be on. He already paid. He already tax exempt. Tax exempt. 501c3 non for profit organization. All of it. It's already set up like a business. He already paid because if you put something in there or not. Or not. Every time you go to the store and they flash that card, there's no tax. Yeah, no taxes. Right. He buys all 3995 That's what it is when he go to the DMV. Yeah. He ain't got to ride with plates and keep changing the sticker from 1030 to 1130. <laughs> and then find yourself out in jeans. What are they looking for? This? <laughs> he ain't got to do nothing. When he pay for it, plates go on the car that day. Let's get it. Hold on, just get this one for bro right quick. And this is second Ezra. Y'all, because we got a, a man meeting right after the class, y'all. But I just want to hear a couple of these names of the Lord. We got a good half hour or so. Time flies out, y'all, when y'all study in the Word. It's two different things. We have fun. And we ain't been to work. It took us that long to get to Sunday, but we had to do it so that you're able to cover if they try to go earn on you or they try to circle back. What you got, uh, Ruth? Hey, uh, and it's Acts chapter 11, verse 29. Hold on, y'all. Listen for a second. Go ahead, bro. It's Acts chapter 11, verse 29, just showing that that's what they were doing. It's a, uh, then, then the disciples, every man according to his ability, mm. determined to send relief unto the brethren 
which dwelt in Judea. <laughs> that just the show that's, that's, that's what it was. Right. That's, that's, that's they were aided. Y'all don't do what you ain't aided. That's, that's why the law said we can't charge usury to our brother. Usury is pay their loan. <laughs> yeah, I call you 20. For one, yeah, you done woke me up in the middle of the night for 20 dollars. You gotta give me 30 back when you get your pay. Okay, man, whatever. You know they're gonna say whatever. If they call you at 3 in the morning for 20, they're gonna give you whatever you say. Lying through their teeth. You know, if he's this hard up for 20, 30 is way off the way. You can't give what you can't afford to get back because know why? Whatever day he said, it's money, and he said, I give it back to you when. Guess what? The death angel show up Tuesday at 4 p.m. What are your money? He can't be how he gonna promise tomorrow to himself. And not add the word, get the most high willing. I'll see you Wednesday and pay you back your money. Thomas brother at the funeral spoke about his brother in the casket. What he said? Said he still owe me forty dollars. Still owe me four. He ain't gonna get it. He ain't gonna get it. It's gone. It's like this. Hey, it's 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 IRS is gonna pay. I don't know. Okay, we are supporting. Okay, y'all. Let's get right to huh? More boxes. Y'all, we read a lot out of the part for extensions of the Bible. We usually are about 20 at a time. But if y'all want to cut the time short, y'all go right up to that Christian bookstore, any bookstore, or that online, most of them between 9 and, and, and 12 hours. And get a part. We just about 20 or 30 of them to give you a cut rate on it, you know, and what they show us. But it's good reading and great things down day to day. We just going to read right here. In uh, Second Ezra chapter seven, and bro had a question about this prophecy talking about Christ, even a year, way, plenty of years, centuries before he was born. Well, not centuries, but hundreds of years before he was born. And and it, it kind of would throw you for a loop. It looks like Christ is dying the second time around, but you're gonna get to understand that right quick because Second Ezra chapter thirteen clears it up even more. So we just gonna read out it so y'all don't have a copy. So just listen up, y'all. We're gonna hit this right quick. Second Ezra chapter seven and start about uh, twenty. Read down. Right. Absolutely. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Right. Absolutely. And then we jump over thirteen. In the apocrypha, Second Ezra chapter seven. Verse 20. For y'all who don't know, the Apocrypha was part of the original 1611 King James Bible. Absolutely. It's all in one book. And if y'all don't want to read the red book, you can order the whole 1611 Bible online. With the Apocrypha, it's, it's, in, it's in there. But you can get it at the Christian books on West Coast. 1611 King James. My heart is free. Let's get it, y'all. Chapter, verse 20. Second Ezra, hold it down, y'all. For there be many that perish in this life, right? Because they despise the law of God. What they do? Despise the law of God that is set before them. And when we talk about despise, it's like uh, Hebrews 12, I believe, where he said uh, uh, Esau with his bride he said, he despised this birthright. It wasn't took it from him, or, or he got tricked out of it. He despised. It. He took physical hunger over the blessing of eternity. That's a difference. It's just like the mark of the beast that's going to come about here now. No medicine, no food, no gas, no car, no nothing unless you take the mark of the beast. And if you despise your soul just to drive for three and a half years or eat beans and gravy, because that's all they're going to feed you. For three and a half years, you despise your birthright. Our birthright is we inherit the kingdom of the most high. And what that means is that we won't live in the kingdom of New Jerusalem. That's the worship spot. But Isaiah, I mean, Ezekiel 48 tells us about the lots prepared for the children of Israel. The most high ain't going back on his promise. Now, yeah, there's other nations that will be part of this blessing. But to the Jew first and then the Gentile. They don't want what we've been going through for 400 years, do they? They want to be just like us, but they don't want this punishment. If they did, It's a baby he adopted on Cole Bridge and Euclid. And that means Joe Lee want to prove something to me. <laughs> Go around on Cole Bridge and relieve a little bit of that pressure. 
He said, down to Willie. Right? Let's move on, y'all. I don't know. Down to Willie. Willie. <laughs> 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 Verse 21. 21. For God has given straight commandment to such as came. Straight commandment. Ain't no turning the corner. Ain't no getting. The words of the Most High are straightforward. Don't do this. Don't do this. That if you do this, I will give you ease. If you don't do what I say, it's gonna become dis-ease or disease. Because every sickness that's uh, uh, on us right now is because it has become dis-ease. Because we don't want to hear it. When you keep on eating pork, what happens? You go to die. Blood pressure. You got problems. Rheumatism. All the all the other tissues. <laughs> when you break the commandment of the Lord, you become diseased or diseased. The only way to get rid of that disease is keep the commandments. The Lord never said we wasn't going to break the commandments. Because there's no man that sinned not but Christ. It said that over and over, over a hundred times, keep my commandments. But what we hear, you can't keep the commandments. Yes, you can. Commandment keeping means when I break one, this is where I go. Leviticus, Deuteronomy, yes, to keep it, to break. I mean, to fix it back. That's keeping the command. If I break one, I know what to do to get back in line. That's not for you too, Dan. Go ahead, brother. Back up with this ease and ease. Go ahead. Proverbs 3, verse 1 and 2 says, My son, right? forget not my law, right? but let thy heart keep my commandments. Right. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Verse 8, it shall be health to thy neighbor. It's going to be health to thy neighbor and marrow to thy bones. And marrow to thy bones. And because it's saying marrow to your bones, it's talking about the most inner part of your being. Right. If you get to the marrow of the bone, that's this inside. Some of y'all have got busy with a chicken wing bone and then bent down into it. You see that little brown meat that's down in this marrow. And then you chew it on there and throw it to the dog and he looks at you like, what are we supposed to do with that? <laughs> but that's the marrow. It feels that. If you get sick in this, what medicine you going to put on this? How is it going to reach that? The only thing that reaches that is that word. Right. That we talk about it in, in, in Hebrews uh, 4, 12, ain't it? Yeah. Know it. Learn it. Go ahead. Verse 21. Go ahead. For God has given straight commandment to such as came. Right. And they should do to live, mm -hmm. even as they came, mm -hmm. and what they should observe to avoid punishment. To avoid what? Punishment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him. We were not obedient to him, y'all. We want the laws the way we want the laws. We want to tell a man how he's supposed to do. He ain't supposed to wear no pants, women. The law say a man should not wear that that pertaining to a woman, nor a woman wear that to pay, pertaining to a man. Uh, if Prince, they say he got on lady clothes. <laughs> if he went in Kmart and found them clothes on the side, that big old sign that say woman, and the other side that say man, boy, girl, is without excuse. If he ain't over here getting them roughly blouses and them tight pants with no zippers or pockets, and he over here, he breaks the law. That's what the law says. Not what your preacher says. There's women pants over here, and there's men pants over here. If he's over here with these pants on, he's breaking the law. And the stores have it separated. <laughs> huh? If he has his clothes made, if he have them made for men, it's a different thing. What we're talking about is straight knowing what's labeled as for women. Women shirts buttoned up on the left side. Men shirts buttoned up on the Right side. <laughs> it's designed for you to understand because it's without excuse. Now you just got on a pan, for a woman pan because you naked, flood water, you ain't got nothing else to put on. They say, here, put these pants on. A drier end is better than walking around with some soaked cold pants on to get pneumonia and die. But you can't freely choose. <laughs> like this. This will go good with my stilettos. Yeah, that's the And you a man. No. 
breast pad or dear price for stiletto worm, hip replacements and everything. <laughs> Y'all read about Shall come to pass, 
and the bride shall appear, right. and she is coming forth, shall be seen, right. that now is withdrawn from the earth. So he said, Behold, a time is coming when the bride, you Revelation 19, Christ is the bride. The bride, home, I'm sorry, Israel. Israel is the bride. The bride is going to come forth. Go ahead. 27. And whosoever is delivered from the foresaid evils shall see my wonder. So it's telling us that if we get past tribulation, the foresaid evil, the evil that's pronounced on the world that's come, he that get through that. Go ahead. 28. For my son Jesus, Who? Jesus, right. shall be revealed with those that be with him. Right. And and they that remain shall rejoice within 400 years. Right. After these years shall come my son, shall my son Christ die, and all men that have life. So we, we're seeing that, that right here, they said Christ going to die. So it's, it's talking about in the realm of what we call form life. He said within this time period that Ezra made that promise. So within that time, Christ came. Within that, in that time span, whether it was one year or the 400 year, Christ came and he died with men. He only died one. It's only telling you about who this, this man would be. This, this man in the supernatural light above all men. When he comes, this is what it's going to be like. He came in the beginning as a baby. And we look for it. Abraham never knew it. Abraham said in John 8, 58, I knew Christ a long time ago. No, Christ told him I knew Abraham a long time ago. They're like, you ain't 50 years old. How do you know Abraham? He said, before Abraham was, I am. And they picked up stones to stone. So this is talking about in that time period, they knew Christ. Job knew Christ. Because Christ visited. When, when Christ visited Abraham and, and he told him, I'm destroying Sodom and Gomorrah, he said, this one stayed back and talked with Abraham. He said, the other two, go in and do your business what I do. Right. Angels take orders. They don't make decisions. They don't change orders. And he called the Lord. And, he called, and Abraham called the Lord. And he died with him. Right. So we right. see that when Christ come back, we will eat with him like he said. Abraham went back in the back and got, he said, go fetch me a key and some milk and, and, and get that hot water and cornbread together. And he asked the Lord, would you not destroy if there's 50 right? He said, there's 50. He got down to 40. He said, 30. He said, 20. He said, 10. And Abraham wouldn't ask no more because he said, locked my nephew, his wife, and their Oh, four daughters, he had four first, two died off of the man who went into the wickedness. He said, that's more than five there. Mm -hmm. It's less than ten, but it's more than five there. I dare not ask him if there's ten righteous in Sodom and Gomorrah. Because if he tell me, no, there's not one, mm -hmm. my nephew's on. Hey, then we go ahead. Let me read this question for a few to know. Well, bro was reading in Second Ezra in their pocket for what it says, Christ shall die. And he's just looking for a time period. But when this prophecy was given to Ezra, in BC, BC, it was a speaking of how Christ would come in his power and glory. But then it breaks down what's going to happen first because he was put to death. And we have to understand that. But when we get into the second Ezra, 13th chapter, he's going to clear it up wholeheartedly where you won't have to just lean on this one and be misunderstood about Christ coming as the first and the second coming. What you got to see? Make it clear about the second coming. He says, my son Christ shall die, all men that have life. And all men that have life. That's right from the second coming, because in the second coming, if those that have life that time, someone will be changed to sleep on the night and won't we'll taste death. Won't we'll taste death. It's we'll setting up a time period right there. Yeah. And if we keep reading, it's going to go into the resurrection as well. Go ahead and rush sleep. Verse 30. And the world shall be turned into old silence seven days. Right. Like as in the former judgment, so that no man shall remain. Right. And after seven days of the world, women, and after seven days the world that yet awaketh not shall be raised up, and that shall die that is corrupt. And the earth shall restore those that were asleep in her resurrection. Right. And so shall the dust, women, and so shall the dust of those that dwell in silence, and the secret places shall deliver those souls that were committed unto them. And that's what we read where it says, he's going to tell the seed of Revelation, give up the dead. And this give up the dead because those that die in Christ will precede those that remain alive. Because they've already given their life or whatever, and they have a testimony to their death. He said, if you left alive, you can't leapfrog in front of them. They're given their reward. 
they went to sleep not seeing but believing. We've got to see some with our eyes before we believe anything. Um, uh, how you know it's God? We ain't seeing him. Why do you call it the wind? You don't see that. Let's get some up. Verse 33. And the most high shall appear right. upon the sea of judgment. You know I mean? they, there we go, Jeff. And misery shall pass away. Right. And the long suffering shall have an end. Right. But judgment only shall remain. Truth shall stand. And faith shall wax strong. Now flip right over to the second end of the 13th because we see right here everything that's happening in Christ. It says after the second coming. But the pearls of men is, is, is doing the first coming. When he came and was put to death, the pearl of man, because Luke 21, 24 tell us, Christ said, after I die, they're going to come in here and they're going to tear it up. They're going to rip the temple up to pieces. They're going to tear it up. They're going to climb on y'all. And they're going to get y'all. And they're going to get y'all. And this is when Judas Maccabees understood these things, when the Roman Caesar and Titus and Nero went up in there and caused havoc in Jerusalem. And we ran out in different parts of Africa. But when we got over to this part of Africa, it's an African man. <laughs> they like the way you do it. I'll pass you up. Your word of God, they want you. We're tired of you. White right, man, no, we sell it to you. That's why Africans never call themselves Africans. They tell you I'm from Zimbabwe, Rhodesia, Ghana. They don't never name themselves after America over the city. Leon Scipius Africanus. That's who was named after the white man. America Vasucci. And, and who the other boy? Africanus. And Leon S. Africanus. That's, that's who African Americans are if you named after them two white men. True Africans or Hamites will never call themselves an African American. You ain't never heard. Even Barack, they say he's a Kenyan. His dad is from Egypt. But his wife, Michelle Obama, the Israelite, her last name was Robinson, off the Robinson Plantation. She's a nigga. the first, like, 15 minutes of that, that movie, uh, Shaka Zulu. Shaka Zulu. Yeah, they, they uh, white dudes say, uh, those are the black Jews. Right. You know, the Shaka Zulu them did, was doing, was killing them. Right. And they, every time you say Shaka Zulu, they was like, oh, you know what they say. Well, even so when you watch the movie, when the white man asked, he said, who are those? Some guys over in the white room, he said, oh, those are just the Jews. Right, right, right. Those are just the Jews. Let's get this, y'all. What you got? This right here is uh, from Babylon. Hold it down, y'all. From Babylon, the Temple of Tuba. 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 By Rudolf Windsor, a history of the ancient black races, including the black Hebrew. Go ahead. This is page uh, 84 and 85. Some people say, well, y'all got to think about Africa. How, how is y'all children of Israel? Not knowing that Jerusalem and Egypt are neighbors. You can walk from Israel into Africa even today. It's it's right. it's 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 on the, the, the point of Africa. It's, it's an imaginary land border. You can walk like if there was a, a pathway and you walk across the public street bridge in Illinois. Yeah. That far away. Yeah. What today's right. journey, go ahead and send right. I just wanted to say that what they're doing these days is on these new maps, they're moving Jerusalem further away. Mm -hmm. They're trying to make it look like it's a part of Asia, Asia and Asia. not Africa. <laughs> you know, so they, they, they don't want the, the Holy Land and Promised Land to be a tie to Black Land. You can like, 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 like when, Christ, when Christ was born, Herod was trying to murder him. Right. The angel told his father to take the boy and his mama and go work in the They ain't catch no boats, they walked. They walked. Right. Right. It's right next door. A lot of people don't know this, but this is another page. I ain't got nothing to say about that. It's called the land of Cain. Right. Ham's grandson. It, the most I say, I'm going to change the name because the law. Uh, 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 Deuteronomy 19 tells us uh, that we can't move the landmark of a man's name. He said it in stone. That's why it's still called the land of Canaan to this day. Then the Most High said, when I come back, there should be no more Canaanite in the land of the Lord. It returns back to the Garden of Eden where it was supposed to be. And, and the Canaanite won't be found no more, but the Most High is not going to call it 
not who the father of the land he established for. He said this land belongs to Canaan. It's on the tip of Africa, mm -hmm. or what we call Hamite land. Mm -hmm. That don't make us Hamites because it said we are pilgrim in the earth. Right. We bounce over here. We may be over here. We are in the four corners of the earth. So ain't no real settling spot for us. Jerusalem was because he gave it to us when he took it from Canaan for his witness of uh, having his, his father's wife, his stepmom. Let's get some more. This is what I heard. It's page 84. Again, out of Babylon Temple, two books. Oh, eight, like eight dollars. You can right. order it offline or whatever. Uh, it says in the year, it's page 84. It says in the year 65 BC, right. the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jew state with great slaughter. With great what? Slaughter. During the period of the military governors of Palestine, many outrageous and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. During the period from Pompey to Julius Caesar, right. it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa, fleeing from Roman persecution and slavery. The slave markets were full of black Jew slaves. That's it. That's what was on the slaves. That's it. on over Africans didn't sell their own people. If that's the case, why ain't none of one of them told us what tribe we from yet? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, brothers and sisters, you are from the Bubu tribe. <laughs> 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 Any, like any of those archival things, like, any of those archival things where they selling our people, it never says African. They say right. Negro or colored or whatever. Negro niggas. The whole map said they right. say Negro land. I'm right. It never say African. Let me read this right quick now before you get going. Right. So, so we don't understand clearly. Now this is called Zonism. All Christian preachers use this book. Billy Graham, you let's see you use it. It's great. I use it all the time, Billy Graham. <laughs> the high tone of the work and excellent illustration make this a prize volume. Christianity Today. A first rate reference work. Dr. Frank, somebody, General Ed. But it's in the definition of Ham, who they tell us we all came from. Now, Ham, the youngest son of Noah, probably born about 96 years before the flood, and one of the eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor or father of the dark races, not the Negro, but the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, the Libyans, and the Canaanites. Ouch. So even they both tell us that we didn't come from Ham. And they got this in all in their doctrine. Just like the script tell us we didn't come from Ham. We came from Shem, the middle son. He can't change the rules. See, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 yeah, back when my, they were doing those uh, reservation discussions at the UN, they were, they were going to give us what they were having. Oh, yeah, yeah. We yeah. yeah. had Americans and Africans going back to the UN for reparations for slavery and all that. Yeah. One of my boys was involved in it. He told me, the Africans made it clear, y'all pay us before y'all pay them niggas. Right. We don't, we don't, we don't, pay, we don't want to be paid with them. Y'all pay us first. Mm -hmm. And understand this, y'all. A contract ain't going to never give us reparations. It's going to be made to you. Because reparations mean if you acknowledge that, that means you up for war. Right. Then that's what they charge Germany and Hitler with. What they charge uh, Saddam Hussein with. What they just get Libya with. What is their president dying from? War crimes against his feet. If they call us African Americans and you acknowledge that you treated us like this in this manner, that's war crimes. Yeah. Somebody got to pay the penalty for this. Right. So they never going to admit to it. They're like, yeah, there was a few things wrong, but you know what? <laughs> Your God put y'all here. Right, yeah. Y'all ready to run in 28? <laughs> Psalm 44? Leviticus 26? Your God did that to y'all. Why y'all looking at us? And they swear to the to the presidency, uh, Washington is the only one. Go ahead, we'll get out. Right. Go ahead. Close out of y'all in five minutes. Go ahead. Let me go ahead and first Psalm 28 and what? Psalm, Psalm 44, Leviticus 26. Deuteronomy 28 and Psalm 79, you read open it up. Psalm 83, the book of Obadiah. 
plenty of spots, man. It's so big. Roger 7 and 6, especially people chosen above all people on the planet Earth. Where else are going to see a man run 110 yards in 9 seconds? Where else are you going to see a man operating on the brain, the number one surgeon, Dr. Ben Carson? Sounds Sounds Dr. Ben Carson. You think all of them adventures, get a hundred adventures of Negro. You think all of them adventures, how you gonna go to the patent office and you a slave? You think Benjamin, whoever that man was, made electricity? He made that lamb where Rufus was up in that pit and he like, do that again. You see him, master, take these two wires here and put these wires here and then like, come on, what? He like, oh. Like that old pair of shoes I got.